Cecilia Uset and her husband, José Gijena, are involved in a fight to decriminalize abortion in Argentina. They live in Tucumán in northwest Argentina, one of the most conservative provinces in the country. The fight is a personal one, as the two doctors are under investigation for carrying out an abortion on an 11-year-old girl who had been raped. I wanted to evaluate what we could do in her case, and what I saw horrified me. An 11-year-old girl playing with toys whose body is not developed to give birth, with a belly. She still had her baby teeth in her mouth. She was being tortured. The girl known only as Lucia was allegedly raped by her step-grandfather. Lucia is 11 years old and she was 16 weeks pregnant when her condition was detected. She was brought to this hospital because according to doctors, she requested uh, them to remove from her belly what the old man had put inside of her. The procedure was delayed for about two months. Human rights group denounced that authorities wanted to convince her to keep the baby in spite of her young age. With so much time having passed, José Gijena decided a cesarean section operation was the best way to proceed. However, when they tried to get the operating room ready for the procedure, they encountered another setback. The girl's mother was there and she was so afraid because all the hospital personnel had left because they objected to the procedure. Those who did not want to participate wanted to film us so they could post it on social media. In the end, the baby was born alive, only to die a few days later. Lucia's case is not the only one in northern Argentina. This is a country where abortion, in cases of rape, has been legal for nearly a century. Natalia del Valle was abused by a relative when she was 14. She says while law may be on her side, the system works against the victims. I was ashamed of my belly, of the questions, and when I had the baby, I did not want to see her. I rejected her so badly. My grandmother said she is beautiful, and she is, but nobody will never take the pain away from me. In general, the women impacted are poor and vulnerable. Every time a woman denounces something to the police, they pat your back and laugh at you. They have no heart. Last year, Argentina's Congress debated for the first time in history the possibility of decriminalizing abortion in a country where women can still go to jail if found guilty of having had one. The law was rejected in the Senate. Lawyers in the northern part of the country say conservative groups want to ensure the law is never voted again. After the abortion debate, they wanted to go back in time and pass a law to prohibit abortion in case of rape. But they made that so complicated that it's almost impossible to have an abortion once you've been raped. Abortion remains a contentious issue in Argentina. And while lawmakers are prepared to vote on legalizing it again later this year, human rights groups denounce the hardships women and girls face even when they have the law on their side. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Tucumán, Argentina.